everyone and welcome to Blooming Labs. Today I am going to do a flip through of Biology for the Logic stage from Elemental Science. This is one of the curriculums we're considering for year 7, grade 7. Okay, so it does come with a teacher guide and a student guide. This is a PDF but you can actually buy physical copies off Amazon now which is great. Okay, so for the table of contents we have biological building blocks for unit 1 which includes things like cells, DNA and genetics, classification, nutrient cycles, basic ecology, the test, and then obviously the answer key. We have plants, which is fungi, simple plants, flowerless plants, flowering plants, seeds and fruits, um, and so on. And then unit three is invertebrates. And those are the topics. We have unit four for vertebrates. Then we've got unit five, which is animal overview. Um, then we've got unit six, which is the human body. And that's quite a long one, as you can see. So we're covering all the different systems. She always includes some extras in her teach guide, which I really appreciate. So you've got your year and review test information and answers. You've also got your appendix, which contains information about the scientific method and also the science fair project presentation board, if you're doing that one, that uh, assignment. Um, it's also got your Punnett Square worksheet in there and then templates for two days a week schedule, five days a week schedule. You've got a microscope worksheet and a dissection report. She always does a great job of giving an introduction to the course. It tells you all the different components. So we've got hands-on inquiry, information, writing, uh, the science project. Then we've also got research around the web, quizzes and tests. She gives you some more information about the experiment. That will be themed around a weekly topic that is to be studied. She explains how you can use vocabulary and memory work. You can sketch got your writing assignments and for your writing assignments she gives you three different options so she has where you outline from the spine text which I'll show you in a minute um, where you can write a narrative summary and then you can also do an outline and a written report okay now here are your required texts so we have the Osborne Science Encyclopedia the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia DK Encyclopedia of Nature the Osborne Illustrated Dictionary of Science, and then DK Eyewitness Book Human Body. She does give you all the additions that you specifically need. So we have them here. So the Osborne Science Encyclopedia, the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia, the Encyclopedia of Nature, the Illustrated Dictionary of Science. So this has got physics, chemistry, and biology in this one. And then we've got the DK Human Body book. Okay, and in terms of classical method, this does actually have dates in here as well that you can memorise for important discoveries and so on if you are following something along the lines of the well-trained mind. So she says your schedule is up to three hours per week and you can do it over five or two days. They also, she also gives you some experiment, some further experiment, experiment information about how you can take it further. So if your students are older, discussion questions, um, so if you want to do more, she explains about different um, additional experiment kits and things that you could purchase to go along with one of the topics if you want to dive deeper. So it's things like dissection kits, so owl, sh sheep, uh, starfish, earthworm, um, but also frog. And because it's an American company, they do give you American email um, websites, not email, American websites, but you can get dissection kits in the UK as well. So... Um, we might get one of the sheep ones or something along those lines if she'd like to, to do that. I think that would be fun. Okay, so again, she says with tests, because they are completing a lot of work each week, you can assess that way. So you don't have to do tests, but they're in there in case you'd like to. And then she gives you an idea of schedules, what they would look like. So for example, on a day one, um, so this is what a two days a week schedule would look like. So day one, you'd define the vocabulary, do the experiment, complete the experiment sheet and record the dates. Um, day two, you would read the assigned pages, discuss together, prepare an outline or narrative summary and complete the sketch. And then um, here's an example of a an outline for week one. So it's a sample, so it gives you an idea. And then a narrative summary um, of what that would look like. Narrative summary continues. And then what a five day schedule would look like. So day one, you do the experiment and complete the experiment sheet. Day two, you would read the assigned pages, discuss and write an outline. Um, and again, she gives you the outline. Day three, you would recall the dates to find the vocabulary and complete the sketch. Day four, you would read from the additional reading assignments and prepare a, a written report. Um, and then she gives you a, a sample of a written report. And then day five, you do one of the want more activities. 
And then she also talks about the science fair project. That's my cat sneezing. <laughs> the science fair project um, that you can do if you're in unit five, um, which sounds really fun. So I think we would definitely do that if we wanted to, if we decide to do this curriculum. And then she also obviously gives you the option if you, if you wanted to include younger children, what books you could substitute and things. Just so if you wanted to do it family style. Okay, so again, going back to the book list, so these are the two for the reading assignments, main encyclopedias you'd need, and then these are the reference ones for the reports. So that's why there is a difference. She also gives you some basic equipment that you would need if you wanted to create a lab, like experience, and then gives you lots of information about choosing a microscope and when you might need those, um, what units you would need that for. And then let's look at the sequence of study. So the biological building blocks are for five weeks, plants six, the animal units are 14 weeks in total, so you've got your invertebrates, vertebrates, and then your animal overview, and then 10 weeks for the human body. She always gives you a materials list week by week of what you would need, which I really appreciate ready to purchase for the new school year. So what I, in the past when we've done elemental science, what I did was get a big plastic tote and then fill it up with anything that I could that we needed, apart from obviously things that would were food orientated but everything else I put in there so that it was ready to go I always find that's really helpful when you're doing experiments um they do also sell an experiment box on the website I don't know if they deliver to the UK but in the if you're in the US then you could obviously purchase that if you'd like to okay so we'll look at unit one then we'll look at unit five in the teacher guide then I'll show you some of the student guides and then we'll look at some of the books so for this sequence of study again it just gives you an overview of week one to five what you'll be doing um, materials that you need, uh, the vocabulary for the unit, um, memory work for the unit, um, and the student assignment sheet week one. So the experiment that they need, notes, vocabulary and memory work that they'll be doing if they want to do the sketch, the writing assignment, so she tells you what pages they need to read in order to complete the assignments, um, this is for the classical side if you are doing the dates and then she gives you your schedule breaks it all down for you what to do each day if you're doing the two day and then what you're doing each day for the five day so then we've got some notes some experiment information this is what's in the student guide but it's in yours as well so you can see they explain how to make a wet mount slide and then you've got your discussion questions here for you the answers and then we've got the microscope work and then if you want the one more section there's also a jello cell that they could make too okay same with week two we've got your schedules here we've got our introduction results explanation which is always really helpful to have um troubleshooting take it further discussion questions DNA Tower, Punnett Square, that's in the What More section, and the answers as well. And you've got your sketch. Okay, okay, so I'll show you um, from week seven, uh, week 30 even. So week 30 is the endocrine system. So again, you've got your experiment, reading and redeeming vocabulary and memory work, sketch, writing assignment, dates to remember. You've got your schedule, day one, day two, or day five. Um, additional experiment information. Um, some discussion questions. If they want more, you've got a research report. This is the sketch. Uh, oh, and then this is what a mid-unit test looks like, in case you wanted to see. So it's a... Vocabulary, true, false, matching, short answer. Uh, labeling. So that's what a mid test looks like. Oh, and then it gives you the answers. The thing that I love, and this is, I've only just really noticed it more so um, because I've been looking at UK curriculum for high school, is I love the fact that in the US curriculums, they give you the answer key as part of the, the book. Generally speaking, obviously some curriculums require you to buy it separately, but in the UK it's the complete opposite. You have to buy a separate teacher guide, which is for schools, 
um, which has all kind of syllabus information, which we don't need necessarily. I mean, you might want some of it, but in terms of, um, I guess, what you call the standards. Um, and also it has class room information and the answer key in there. But why they don't sell it separately, I don't know. But I love the fact, so you're very lucky <laughs> that a lot of curriculums include the answers because at this level, not so much year seven, but, you know, year 11, 10, year 11, you probably really do want the answer key. So it's really helpful that they have that in there. Okay, so just show you one more. Uh, so this is week 31. Um, microscope work. I'm being really careful not to show the bottom of the page because it has my email address on there. Um, schedules, day one, day five. When you buy a PDF, it always puts your um, email address at the bottom. The dissection kit um, is mentioned here. Then we've got the anatomy of the heart for their sketch and three types of blood cells. And if you wanted to see our curiosity, what the urine test looks like uh, so those are the answers so let's not look at that um but yes so we've got the vocabulary multiple choice questions quite a few of those um short answer questions and then in the appendix you have your dates for all of the um discoveries and scientists and so on uh, she does a sheet on the scientific method then for the science fair project i think that would be really fun actually to do that um, and then if you do have younger students she's put the reading assignments in for you what they could do with different books which is fantastic uh, there's your punnett square worksheet and then we've got some templates um, so you've got a schedule for a planning sheet for two days one for five days got a microscope worksheet and then you've got your dissection report okay now let's have a look at the student guide okay i completely forgot to mention at the beginning what grade level and age range this is for so the biology for the logic stage is 10 to 13 fifth through eighth grade they also have several different um subjects obviously for the logic stage so, for example, um, the physics one is 7 through 8, and you just need to check for which topic you're interested in. Okay, so student book, we've got the same table of contents. Um, uh, then we've got an a letter directly written to the student, giving them some information about what they're going to be doing. Um, so, ask a question, do some research, formulate a hypothesis, test with experimentation. Record and analyse observations or results and draw a conclusion. Again, same sort of thing. I'm not going to go through this bit again because we already went through that, um, which looks very similar to the teacher guide. Okay, so she does give you a template for each of the different time periods for you to put the dates on. Um, if you need to make your timeline, I guess. Okay, now we're into unit one. Uh, we've got define the following terms. So we've got our vocabulary. We've got our experiment information, tells them how to do the, the wet slide, um, a vocabulary memory work, sketch, writing assignments, what pages they need to read, dates, and then the information is already sketched out for them. Um, so presumably they label them, yes. So label the following, you need to put the label the following on the cells. And then we've got our experiment sheet. So we've got intro, production, hypothesis materials. Again, how to make it procedure. And then you've got a space for them to draw the different observations that they made, a space for conclusion. And then for their writing assignment, so it says their discussion questions written here um, with space for them to answer. Um, okay, and then we're on to week two. Again, same scenario. It's got the sketch for the, over here for them to label. Additional reading assignments and so on. Writing assignment for the discussion questions. Okay. So in this one, the labeling, the divisions of life. Okay, I'm just going to skip ahead. Okay, so we skipped ahead to week 26. So again, experiment information, 
all the different assignments. You've got your sketch to label. Um, ooh, that's an interesting experiment. Okay. And then your writing assignment. Okay, so in the appendix for the student, they have um, their memory work by unit. Uh, they have an acti activity log section, uh, several of those, oh, I, maybe I just printed them off multiple times, I'm not sure. And then we've got the glossary of all the vocabulary. Okay, quick look at the books. So we've got the Osborne Science Encyclopedia, the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia of Nature, the Illustrated Dictionary of Science, that was, there's the biology stuff, chemistry and then physics at the beginning. I'm not sure I got the right one, because this says DK Human Body Eyewitness Workbook, so I think maybe they actually mean the actual book, so I'm not sure if this is the right one, I need to check, but that's what this one looks like anyway. Um, so yeah, that's everything for Biology for the Logic Stage by Elemental Science, thanks so much for watching. Um, next video I'm going to show you another science curriculum that I'm considering, um, again it's for biology, and then probably the week after I'll show you another science curriculum I'm considering which is um, biology, chemistry and physics in one. So thanks so much for watching, take care, I'll see you soon.